Hi everyone, it's Chris here at Purely Outdoors and today we're going to be doing a product review video of the Dometic Air Tool Annex. So this is probably one of the most popular additions that we sell to any of the Dometic awnings. And I think the reason behind that is it can be such an adaptable space. So unlike other annexes on the market that are very sloped and very much just designed for sleeping, with the extra head height that you get on the tall annex, the sort of options are endless with it. So it can be further storage, so great for bikes or wet gear, um, or it can be that sort of great sleeping area as well. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic because you've got so much height. Um, as you can see, it's in the WeatherShield Pro fabric, so blends really nicely into your Dometic awning. The great thing is with it as well, it will fit all of the air awnings from Dometic. So whether you've got a rally, a club, a grande, or an ace, it simply zip. If you simply zip out the side panel, this one zips then straight in and it can be used as and when you need it. So we often get customers say it's a great addition where they're expecting family to come and stay. Um, they might not need it all the time on site, but it's there as and when they need it and only weighing in at around 7 kg, it's not too much extra space to, to take up in your van. Um, also worth mentioning, the Tall Annex comes in the all-season fabric. So if you have got an all-season awning from Dometic and you want to get that matching, um, it's definitely worth taking a look at that also. In terms of inflation, just the one air beam on this. So um, single point inflation, really quick and easy to get this one pumped up. Um, in terms of other key features, so, we will chat about um, the interior ones, but firstly on the outside, you've got a lovely mesh panel here. So again, if it's gonna be used as a sleeping area, especially in the summer months when you want that breathability, you have got that mesh panel in there that you can then simply guide down. So you've got a nice hooded vent and making sure you've got all that ventilation you need when you're sleeping in there. You've also got this, this rear split side access door as well. So if you have got muddy bikes or muddy gear that you want to leave stowed away in the annex, you're not having to come through the awning um, to leave it in there. So nice addition from Dometic on that one. Um, we'll now take a look inside the, the tall annex and um, chat through some of the key interior features. Okay guys, let's take a look inside the tall annex now. So I think the first thing you notice is that we've got the, um, the included inner tent um, clipped in at the moment. So these clip into the black toggle points here um, and it's a lovely darkened inner, um, perfect for sort of double camp bed or air bed. Um, it really is a lovely spacious area and you've got all that head height as well. Um, if you don't want the sleep in area, these can simply be, be clipped out and you've got these white um, points in here that um, they also include a partition door. So if it is just gonna be storage space, you can clip out your inner tent and then you've got even more space to store bikes or, or pets or, um, or whatever you'd like there. Um, as you'll see as well, it's got a fully sewn in ground sheet. Um, so great from a waterproofing perspective. You can also purchase um, the continental carpet to fit the annex as well if you want that extra homely feel. Um, but as you can see, it really nicely seamlessly zips into the side of your awning. And also worth mentioning, it can be zipped into either side. So you've got that flexibility um, with whichever side you'd like it to, to be seated on. Um, so I think in summary, it's a great addition to any Dometic awning. Um, it's not taking up any extra rail space, but, but gives you so much more depth in terms of storage or sleeping area. Um, it's a fantastic product. Um, it's been a real bestseller for us in 2022. I'm sure it will continue that way in 23. Thank you so much for watching. And um, as always, if you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thank you.